Welcome to a quick post and a demo of a Korg virtual synthesizer. This is a VST host on a computer. It's running on a PC. Uh, and this is the actual controller. It's a kind of, uh, I wouldn't even call it a MIDI controller. It's, it's It connects via USB. There's no power uh, cord or anything. I'll come around the back here. And you can see it's actually like a small USB cable, which goes right into your computer. And then this is a mini version. Uh, it's a complete version as far as layout and all the jacks and knobs and so forth. But it's a small uh, mini key unit. And it's uh, slightly smaller than the original uh, Korg MS-20, although it's basically a tiny replica of it. Um, sound is fantastic. Is it exactly the same? No. Uh, anyone who says otherwise probably has never played a Korg. Uh, however, it is a pretty amazingly close, and what's more important than it being an identical clone is it is a clone of the interface, which is something that seems to be lost a lot when people keep talking about as something the same sound. Um, they're also forgetting that the interface is uh, equally, if not more important. So in this case, there's things you can do with an MS-20 that you can do with this, and that, in that sense, it's a one-to-one -one, uh, ratio. Um, it does have patches. The patches are 3.5 millimeter jack uh, cables. Here is one of them. It is not quarter inch like the originals, but everything else operates the same. It has all the same jacks and so forth. So I have a kind of funky weird patch lined up here. This is an auto sweep. Um, you may notice that the VST patching is different than what I have patched here. I patched up a sample and hold on this thing. Uh, but as you switch presets on the VST itself, you'll see that they actually change. Um, so this is the original uh, sound. I'm going to put this up just really quick to give you a quick demo. All right. That's the one I want. This is an auto sweep patch. Pretty mammoth sounding, actually. And uh, the great thing about the Korg MS-20 in particular, and the thing this duplicates, is it has dual filters, both with resonance. So with just a small amount of tweaking, very juicy. The other cool thing is all the weird modulations that is available, including like a little uh, LFO, they call it a modulation generator, but it has um, different options for what the sound, uh, the waveform, and uh, the speed. So I'm going to speed it up and go to... That's the actual square pulse wave. kind of hear the different up and down saws. And let's mess with the uh, frequency. Now one little weird thing I found, uh, depending upon how you start up the software, let's calm this down a little bit, um, is uh, you may notice that there is an LED blinking on the screen, but there is no LED blinking on the envelope and modulation generator. They do work. Uh, it depends how you turn them on, like what order, sometimes, sometimes not. Um, so few little quirks with the unit, but outside of that, it does sound the same or similar, uh, and it does operate the same. More importantly, I'm going to switch to another patch. Um, this is a cool little resonance pinging sound, which you will be hearing in an upcoming track, I'm sure. And uh, with 
a very small tweak of the sustain knob. And you see that the knobs on the screen actually move as well. So, a uh, very cool little uh, unit. Again, um, would the VST itself as a standalone program be pretty cool? Yes. Is it infinitely cooler with the controller that actually mimics the MS-20? Does that allow you to then do all the weird kind of, uh, I don't know, inspired uh, tricks that an MS-20 uh, brings about? Yes. So there you go. I'll probably put up another little track I made, but until now, there's your Korg MS-20 VST synthesizer. Very cool little uh, unit by Korg. I don't even know if these are available anymore. I know they're available, like, you know, in vintage circles, which is a hilarious, because the MS-20, of course, is vintage. A controller that's plastic, that has a few cords and wires inside, that has nothing to do with analog. Well, welcome to the uh, 21st century, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you and enjoy.